Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and this is... Pet McDonald, and we're here to continue our playthrough of Above and Below. Now when we left off, Bartholomew and Gunther had gone into the caves to explore, and there was potentially some animosity between the two of them. A little bit. But then they encountered some Glogos, and they had to decide whether to fight or negotiate with them. Thanks for all your votes and suggestions. M. Dorrington got the most votes. But before I read out what he wanted to do, I thought Hatch Hermit 77 wrote a nice little narrative to go with it. And I, I also contributed my own words to this as well. So the two of us together have created this little story. Bartholomew gave Gunther a sidelong glance. When they first set out, Bartholomew had nefarious intentions for Gunther. He was jealous that Elizabeth had possibly grown fond of her new pupil. But as they traveled down below, Gunther shared stories of losing his family, and in particular, his own brother to barbarians. And Bartholomew, try as he might, could not help but feel sympathy. And now, faced with mortal peril, Bartholomew decided that not only would he need Gunther to get out of this, but he didn't want Gunther to get hurt. So with that in mind... It's a turn, it's a change. It has a, a change, a little growth there, perhaps, in Bartholomew. Maybe this will even help repair the relationship he has with his own brother. Maybe. You know, who knows? But the, the attempt here is to reason with the Glogos. So back at the table, I'm going to roll for Gunther first. A five! That's perfect. Gunther's going to be contributing two lanterns to this explorer, and we did see already, based on his conversations with Bartholomew, he's pretty persuasive and likable. Now let's see how Bartholomew does. Another five! So it turns out they were both very persuasive, providing a total of four lanterns. Now, Pep, to go to the next explorer level, how many lanterns do I need? Five! You know what, this is Bartholomew's chance. He's going to exert himself in an effort to have a tale to go back and tell Elizabeth and impress her with. And when you exert, you have to place your worker into the injured area of your player board. And now let's see what happens. Travelers aren't welcome here. Turn back or die. Or, Gunther pipes up, we could get to know each other. Human and Glogos. Hmm? I like you, furry face man. <laughs> Bartholomew's very excited. He chimes in. Yeah, but you guys, you just, you're probably wildly misunderstood. It is true. Everyone sees spikes. Nobody sees Glogos's heart. <laughs> what a wonderful ending to this encounter. Do I get anything for this? <laughs> yes, for befriending the majestic Glogos, you gain plus two reputation. Ah. Also, they offer you a snack in the form of a mushroom. <laughs> and hand you one gold coin each. Oh, so two coins. Two coins. Beautiful. Okay. Should you come across the Glogos again, show them these coins and they may not slaughter you. <laughs> Assuming I haven't spent them already. So I'm going to go up two on the reputation track, which I'll do now. And I'll bid the Glogos farewell <laughs> and we'll head back to the table. Farewell, furry faces. So to end this explore action, I'm just going to move Gunther here to the exhausted area and collect this empty cavern. So a new cider token goes here, and we're going to add a new potential recruit. Oh, it's the Frogman. He's one of my favorite. I can't wait to hear his story. I hope we get to it. He's very expensive right now. I'm going to get the uh, first player token, and we'll move the round marker. And we have to rest our people. I've got four beds, so these four are going to slide over. Although technically, if you're going to use potions or ciders, I believe you do that first. So I will use a potion to heal up Bartholomew. I don't have a fifth bed for him to sleep in, but he's going to take a deep drink of cider, and that will refresh him. Yeah, the only one of mine who couldn't sleep was Andrea. So you let Rodney sleep in a bed this time. Yeah, you know, his bones are getting pretty brittle, so... <laughs> Good of you to care for the senior. Now before we collect our money, I gathered up this mushroom during the explore action, and this is something that I'm going to put in this first slot. And that means as we gather gold at the beginning of future rounds, I'm now going to be able to collect five gold, which I'll take. And Pep, you're getting four, plus the bonus from that building you constructed, for another five as well. And now we're ready to start the next round. Well, for my first action, let me take a quick look here at the workers I have and decide who I want to use. Bart, recognizing that this community is growing, has decided that he's going to help create some more space for the new members by building this structure here, which is going to cost five. You're just taking all the beds. I got a lot of people who need to sleep. And this is also going to give me a free potion. Your architects are very creative. Those buildings are identical. Bart's got one design. He's a simple man. He just sticks to that over and over and over again. So I'll take the potion and I'll replace the building. 
Oh, two beds. That's a little much for Bart. I'm not sure he could handle that. I'll leave that one for you. Speaking of which, it's your turn. Well, Pep's a little bit tired from the last excursion, so he's just gonna go do a little bit of labor and uh, get some money. Ah, simple action. Very simple action. And I will be taking some cider with me. <laughs> or some medicine for old man Rodney. <laughs> yeah, you know, whichever is necessary at the time. And don't forget, you get an additional coin for that as well. You know, I think Gunther's had some more insights having spent some time with Bart and Bartholomew. He wants to build something, but he, he senses Bart's pride. And as you've noted, he's not terribly creative. But Gunther doesn't want Bart to think he's really competing with him. So rather than build a structure up above here, he's gonna go down below and build something. So I'll move him to the exhausted area and spend four coins to complete this structure, which has to be placed on top of an empty cave area. And this will receive two fish tokens. And I'll gain another potion. And so I'll reveal the next underground building. And this one provides a bed and two victory points. Looks like I'm gonna send Luke here off to build these beds. Oh, the expensive beds, the yeah. above ground beds. Yeah, perhaps we'll call it a, a hotel. Maybe those are bunk beds. They could be. <laughs> okay, so you're getting this one. And here's your change, one gold coin. Pa-ching! And I will exhaust Luke and reveal the next building. Hopefully nothing good for you. Ooh, that is a nice compliment. If you're collecting fish, that at the end of the game will give one victory point for every fish that the person has. Plus, it increases your income by one. That's a great building that I can't afford. Elizabeth has done a really great job of instructing the members of her community in how to build structures, how to explore, but her thirst for knowledge continues. So she's gonna go off and, and teach herself how to fish. And she was successful, she gathered one fish, and I'm gonna actually add this right now to my advancement track. Well, Pep, you've got your, your best worker left over there. What are you gonna do with that Rodney fella? I think he's gonna uh, teach someone. Oh, he's gonna do his job, is he? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Now he's, he's gotten over the, the cider hangover. Well, and you've got so many beds now, you may as well fill them up. Unfortunately, you can't afford the frog man. I'm sure you would have liked to have grabbed him. Which one are you gonna pick up instead? I'm going to pick up this fine young gentleman here, and he will cost me three coins. Anyone that you recruit, goes into your exhausted area. As will the recruiter himself. For my turn, I think I'm gonna have Bartholomew explore. He's been down in the caves before, he's befriended Glogos, and he's also learned the value of building relationships. So he's gonna bring this other new character along with him, and I don't think I gave this one a name, so we're gonna call this gentleman uh, Reginald. He's taking Reginald into the caves to go exploring. Now I'll need to roll a die to see which paragraph we're looking up. I rolled a five, and that's paragraph 122. All right, it's explore story time. Your party travels along a cobbled road in a vast windy cavern. Soon you come upon a man clothed in blue robes and a white fur hat. Gandalf? Kind of like Gandalf, yes. All right. Following behind is a rather underfed person weighed down by a heavy pack. Gollum? Yeah, sort of. Oh. Hurry up, slave, says the man, hitting the poor soul with his walking <laughs> stick. The slave cries out, covering his face, and you wonder how the person came to be in such an unfortunate situation. That's very ungandalf like <laughs> Do you attempt to haggle with the man and buy the slave's freedom? Or do you attack the man and steal his possessions, inviting the slave to return to your village with you? Oh, I'm feeling like I'm attacking him right now. What are my explorer options? So, if you wish to haggle, uh, it is explore four, and you have to pay two coins. Ooh, I only have one coin. Or if you attack the man, it's explore three, or explore seven. I think, well I can't do the first option. I don't have the money, you so don't. I have to attack. Attack it is. Bartholomew, especially after his new outlook on the Glogos, doesn't like seeing another creature being mistreated. So he jumps into the fray, and rolls a two. Mm. Not gonna be able to get the seven now. It was a more of a feeble effort. <laughs> Let's see if Reginald can make up the difference. Both of them wanna stop the wizard, but their heart's not completely in it. I like that you're just calling him a wizard now. Oh yeah, he's not actually declared as a wizard, is he? No, yeah, well, you'll find out when you attack him. <laughs> oh, okay, well, unfortunately with these results, I only have two lanterns so far. I think you should just give up. No, 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 I'm going to exert Bartholomew in this case as the more experienced explorer 
So he'll go into the injured area. That will give me the three lanterns I need to be able to hear the next part of the story. So the old man must have seen the aggression in your eyes and expected you coming. So as you approach him, he gives you a quick whack on the head with a stick and runs off muttering something under his breath. Uh, and as he goes, he drops two coins out of his pouch. Ooh, two gold. However, you're pretty sure you're going to lose one reputation as he's going to go tell everyone that you beat up an old man. Why? He's, he's not a wizard? He's, no, he didn't, he didn't seem to be. He's just, just an old guy. Just seemed like an old just, guy with a stick, kind of hobbled <laughs> off a little bit, too. So we just beat up a senior? Yeah, I mean... Oh, no. If he had got higher, you would have chased after him and kept hitting him. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so, so we lost reputation. Maybe just assuming that he was a powerful wizard was, was the mistake that we made there. Maybe, but you do have one perk. You do get to keep young Gollum as your own. Oh, really? You do. So is, who's Gollum? It's the lowest available villager. Ah, okay. Oh, you know what? This is kind of perfect. This villager, um, let's take a quick look. He looks, he looks sad. He looks like he's taking a few hits to the head himself. I think so. <laughs> okay, so this sad fellow is going to go into my exhausted area, and that ends the round. And we'll reset, putting a new cider token in, and the new villagers will come out. We're going to have two new ones. One here, and one here. Oh, they're both uh, pretty interesting looking. Oh dear, this one looks like kind of a, an old guy. I wonder if that's the same guy that we uh, just chased off. I think it most definitely is. He's coming back to get his revenge. When it comes to resting villagers, I have six of them but only five beds. At least though, I can spend a potion to heal up Bartholomew, move him into the exhausted area. And then I just have to decide which of the five I do want to bring over. I think these two for sure. The new character isn't too bad. It has both the ability to build and to train, and on a roll of three, gets two lanterns. That's pretty nice. So I think I want to leave Bart behind here. Maybe that'll give him some time to think of some new possible building designs. What about you, Pep? It's a lot easier for me. I have five beds, so my entire village is going to be well rested for next round. Very nice. Then we collect income. Pep, you're getting five, and I'm getting six. I'll pass the first player token back over to you. And we'll move the round marker. You get to make the first choices. Well, I better just get this done before you have a chance, because I know what you're going to do. Do you? And I'm going to make sure I get it first. <laughs> okay, what's that? The elderly Rodney will head off to train a new recruit. It's almost like Elder Rodney knows what actual Rodney would do. I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you wouldn't be going after a certain frogman, would you? I would. That's going to cost you three gold. I'm going to need some change. Well, here's... Two gold begrudgingly returned. And I shall grab the frogman, whose name, ironically, is Mr. Turtle. <laughs> Mr. Turtle? That's ridiculous. That really bums me out. I really wanted that frog turtle man thing. Yeah, sorry. I'm being pretty shellfish. <laughs> shellfish. Yes, you are. You know, Pep, I was looking at these buildings, and especially the ones down here, thinking, ah, oh, there's a couple I might like to build. And then I realized I don't have an empty cave area. But that's because I forgot to take the one that I succeeded in earlier, right? Tisk tisk. But you know, I don't think I'm actually gonna build one of the below ground buildings. I think our new character here, I don't, I don't have a name for him yet, maybe we'll call him uh, Stick. We'll call him Stick, <laughs> all right? He wants to prove himself in the community and he's going to build this structure which will help supply the community with some food, some fresh pears. I thought they were apples with flat bottoms. Maybe, maybe you're right, some, some flat bottomed apples. So that's going to cost me four gold and we're going to reveal a new building that increases salary and provides some victory points for mushrooms that you have. Next, I'm going to send Andrea on another money-making mission. So she's going to gather up some more cider and you're getting a coin. Indeed, and I will exhaust her. I kind of like seeing that Rodney's off the cider sauce. Perhaps it's because you've given him something actually useful to do in the community. Well, for my turn, Gunther, again, being sensitive to Bart's feelings, is going to build down in the caverns. I'm going to spend four gold to build this structure, which is going to provide me with another bed, which means everyone's going to be able to sleep well tonight. And the newly revealed building is... Oh, this one's going to provide two rope and a free potion. All right, Pep, back over to you. Luke is going to build yet another building. He's on fire. I'm going to be spending two coins, and I'm going to be building this building here. It gives me the ability to use my cider or my potions as money if I wish, and also provides another reroll. That gives me three rerolls every explore action, and then I'll exhaust Luke. Oh, Bartholomew, I'm so impressed with all the exploring you've been doing. Yeah, I am pretty great, aren't I, Elizabeth? In fact, I'm going off to explore again, right now. Come on, Reginald, let's go. 
So I am going to send these two off to explore for my next action. Rodney, put the dolls away. I'm having so much fun though. And I'll have to roll a die to see what paragraph Pep's going to read. Four means you're reading paragraph 16. As you're venturing along a cobbled cave road, your path is suddenly blocked by a gray wolf, its eyes shining menacingly in the darkness. The wolf suddenly speaks in a voice like two rocks scraping together. Who dares to enter my lair, he says. Do you Translation, run... who dares to enter my lair? <laughs> Continue. Do you run away and hide or stand and fight for your lives? First I hoped he was going to be a potential pet, but this, is a, this doesn't sound like a friendly wolf. So if you run and hide, it's explore two. Right. Or if you stand and fight, it's either explore four or explore six. You know, um, my villagers have been trying to be a little more passive and, uh, and friendly, but I think this creature uh, is, is asking for a fight. Spoiling for a fight. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fight. So with some decent rolls and exerting, I can potentially get to the Explore 6. I know I didn't roll very good last time, but hopefully things will be different here. Rolling first for Bartholomew. Oh, it's a 4. So that is going to give me two lanterns. If I could just get a 4 or more. Come on, Reginald. Ah, it's a three. Well, unfortunately, that only puts me at a total of three lanterns, and I need four for the lowest level. You know who's going to take this injury again, don't you? Bartholomew brings in one more lantern so that they can succeed. All right, Pep, what do I get? You scared the wolf off fairly quickly, and he dropped two coins from his pouch. <laughs> Everyone's dropping coins in this universe. Old men are dropping coins, wolves are dropping coins. Everyone's got a fanny pack. Yeah. You right. also get plus one reputation, likely from the story of the valiant struggle against the wolf. Oh, so this, uh, unlike chasing off the uh, poor, scared senior citizen, this wolf was bad. Seemingly so. Okay, good. So they've redeemed themselves then. I'm, I'm pleased to hear that. I need to move Reginald to the exhausted area and collect this empty cavern. It's important to note that you only get to take the cavern if you succeeded in at least the minimum lantern requirement. Yeah, I haven't failed at any of these explore actions yet, so I've been fortunate. Well, it hasn't been so fortunate for poor Bartholomew. You've put him in the hospital three <laughs> times now. That's true. But Elizabeth is really impressed with his tenacity, so it's, it's paying off in other ways. Pep, it's back over to your turn. What do you want to do? It's time for me to explore. And by me, I mean Pep. <laughs> right. Who are you bringing with you? He's going to bring young Marty along with him. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you grab a die, roll it, and let's see what paragraph I'm going to be reading you. All right, that's number two. I'll be reading you paragraph 78. You find a wooden bridge leading over a dark chasm. Bats fly in a swarm past you, squealing as you cross the bridge. On the far side is a wide ledge with a trap door in the floor. There's a barred window in the middle of the door, and you peer down into an oubliette. Like an omelet. Yeah, you peer down into the omelet. <laughs> At the bottom sits a pale, Blue frog creature. Hey, you like frog creatures. Yeah. He looks up, his eyes wide in surprise. Please, Ribbit, get me out of here, Ribbit, he pleads. There's a thick lock on the door. Do you try to break the lock and open the door to save the frog or move on and keep exploring the area? So you can leave the frog in his prison to go off and explore for explore three or explore seven. Or you can save the frog, explore four. What do you want to do? I think I want to let the viewers decide. That's a great idea. <laughs> so we're going to end here. And if you have a suggestion for Pep, what you think he should do, either leave the frog in the prison, explore three or seven, or save the frog, explore four, put your suggestion in the comments below. And as before, feel free to propose a little bit of a story reason for doing it. And, and we'll certainly try to read one of the selections in our next episode. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.